cool dudes. I hope you're well. I am standing outside the old Priory Hotel entrance in St. Helens. And I'm about to do the Barnsley Trail. Yeah, it's not in Barnsley. I was looking through one of my local free magazines and I found a walk inside a 3.5 mile trail devised by Nettleston and Seaview Parish Council to encourage residents and visitors to discover some footpaths and history. And yes, I have been encouraged. Well done. I'm starting here, right near one of my favorite things on the whole of the Isle of Wight, the radio mast tree, but you can start anywhere on the route. Anyway, this should take a couple of hours. There's some good history. Let's get going. Uh, good morning. I'm allergic to cats. Okay. I'm not quite sure what you want. Pretty good cat athletics. I think that cat wanted to be my friend, but I am allergic to cats. Sorry, mate. For those of you who are hoping this was going to be a walk in Barnsley, I apologise, but I have got a good story about Barnsley. About 10 years ago, I was sent there to do a funny video about the England under 21 internationals who are playing there. And we arrived and we thought, what are we supposed to do? What's Barnsley famous for? And the only thing we could find was Dickie Bird, who was the famous cricket umpire. And there's a statue of him in Barnsley. And incredibly, the caravan went to the station to get a drink. And in there, buying some newspaper or something, was the actual Dickie Bird. So we got to do a brief interview with him. It was really, really nice. Imagine that in the spotter's handbook. Spotting the person who the statue you've seen is of. And I was reading that back in about 2013, they had to raise the Dickie Bird statue because locals kept on vandalising it by putting bras on it and things. Woods. Don't worry, cool dudes. This is where it gets good. Back in 1545, the French tried to invade England in the Battle of the Solent, but they were fought off, even though they sank the Mary Rose. And they retreated and they sailed up Barnsley Creek, where they arrived in Nettleston and set fire to loads of houses. But the Isle of Wight militia, led by Richard Worsley, fought them off. There were only 9,000 people on the Isle of Wight, but 6,000 people fought. And the main reason they had success was because of the women archers who were all hidden in the trees in Park Woods. And the French retreated and it was a great success. Well done, Isle of Wight militia. Good views of the hedge there. I'm here now on Nettleston Hill, and this is the official start of the Barnsley Trail, which I've ignored. I started over there. Some sad news to report, cool dudes. Yes, this is a different hat. I lost my Detroit Lions beanie. That hat and I shared some good times. I think I had it for almost 10 years, about 700 wares. So we're looking at a price per wear of around two pence, almost at the incredible one pence mark. This is my new beanie it's from Tesco's, five pounds. It's currently on two pound fifty per wear. I list all my gear on my website and I work out how much it costs per wear to try and get the full value of something. My question for you viewers, what is your favourite thing that you've lost? Please write below. And also another question is what did you get for Christmas to do with walking? I got a walking shirt 
and a new pair of zip-off trousers that don't look like balloons. Fantastic. Look at that, my friends. It's some sort of wind turbine. I've not seen one of those before. These are Salterns cottages, which date back to 1640. And by the mid 18th century, the creek had silted up enough for salt panning to start in the area. Yet another fact, thanks to the information sheet. There's some bloke behind me teaching himself to roller skate in the street. I think he might be older than me. I really like it when uh, people learn to do things later on in life. I've recently started to try and learn the piano again after a failed attempt about 10 years ago. I'm absolutely rubbish. I'm on the seafront now called Dudes. And the map says to go inland, but I don't know why you'd miss this bit. It's the best bit of the whole walk. Here is where I think there used to be the old Sea View Pier, which was built in 1878. And on Boxing Day in 1951, a length of the pier 100 feet long was washed away during the storm. And it was gradually removed. Time for some lunch on one of my favourite benches. Today's lunch is orange squash. Ham, cheese, mustard and mayonnaise sandwich, crisps, apple, Garibaldi's, nice one. I've got to do this bit pretty quick because it's high tide and it's already a bit flooded. Oh dear. Whoa! I've had to come back round again because the tide's right in. I don't want to get splashed. Maybe I can go up here. Heading up the last bit now. It's around here that I once saw a red squirrel and filmed him from about 10 metres away and then realised I hadn't pressed record. But it'd be great for Spotter's Handbook points if I could see one on this last bit. Come on, Red Squirrel. Yes, I'm back. It was about four miles exactly. Two hours, 38 minutes. Yeah, I was pretty slow, but I stopped and had lunch and did a sketch, didn't I? You can't rush everything. I didn't see a Red Squirrel, um, but a really nice walk Probably best to do in the summertime because it's quite boggy. All right, beeping watch. That's it. Don't forget to join the club. There are instructions in the video somewhere in the corner here. It's really great if you do. Prize draw coming up for all the members. Oh, yeah, one more thing. All together now. Stay cool. Yes, I very much enjoyed that. It's time for the prize draw, my friends. And before we start, to celebrate the release of the new second edition of the Spotter's Handbook, the new emoji for the YouTube members is this magnifying glass. Oh, pretty good, that is. As you can get by writing colon spotter colon. Yes. That's right. Anyway, time for the prize draw. 
There are 717 members on the website and 122 on YouTube, making a total of 839. R random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate 625. Congratulations, cool dude 625, aka Max. I hope you enjoy this um, incredible prize. Well, that's it for this episode. I'll see you soon. Happy walking and stay cool.